what is good, good Mama squad, squad and, and welcome, welcome back to, to our channel jinx you owe me a soda come on <laughs> this is not the time to be jinxing for a soda baby i know no this video is not clickbait whatsoever we are literally on the way to the store to start prepping for a mega hurricane that's coming another one if you did not know if you haven't been following along with our channel i'm just going to start it off by saying our neighborhood was the number one spot that got hit last year by hurricane ian and that was like five miles an hour almost into a category five and if you don't know what that means that means winds reached up to 150 miles an hour and to be a category five it needed to reach like 155 or something like that anyways like our city is still recovering some people don't even have roofs done on their house yet like if you Please see in the background any roofs that have like tarps on them that's from last year that's because half of the roof got ripped off from the hurricane people our fence got out. destroyed our pool cage got destroyed we were blessed that our house didn't get into impact like some other people's houses did. yeah there was a lot of people that lost their homes a lot of people that got flooded friends of ours that got flooded and like we said in those last videos for all the people that not only like lost their homes but like passed away like we are our hearts go out to them because it's crazy it's actually insane so this new hurricane that's coming in which leads us to the new hurricane now that's here it was projected to only be a tropical storm which is like winds that also, are like if you hear there's a propane pan. We're, we're going hurricane shopping we need propane <laughs> and the damn propane tank keeps flying around the back so, um, oh my gosh home depot uh, is packed See, people are preparing because, guys, this hurricane was literally only supposed to be a tropical storm, and now it is a category three plus. Dude, there's barely any parking here yeah, at Home Depot. That's not good. And it's uh, the middle of a Monday. Like, yeah. come on. Even our governor was saying, like, we need to start preparing. Like, this isn't good. This is, there is going to be some impact. It is going up towards, like, Tampa area. But last time they projected yeah. Tampa area. Last time it was supposed... Now, we don't want it to hit anywhere. No. And I just want you guys to know, like, obviously we don't want it to hit our house. But last time it was supposed to go towards Tampa. And then at the last, like, couple hours, it just went... Uh, and came and smacked our whole town and the town next to us with like like i said like the high winds and just absolutely we're just probably destroy still, the place. if it doesn't hit directly towards us i think we're still gonna get some gnarly winds and rain and flooding. even they say it's a 30 to 40 percent chance already that we're gonna get tropical storm rains which is like 50 mile an hour which is still fast that doesn't mean that the storm can't change direction again and hit us so this video is just come spend a day in our life we're gonna be hurricane shopping i guess and preparing Bye. people are already boarding up their windows people are already putting metal shutters everywhere and uh florida is now under a state of emergency which means like get your shit together you're about to get smacked somewhere we don't know where it could be tampa it could be us it could be destin it, it, it literally could be anywhere in florida um, that's what sucks about storms you I can't know. really predict a lot by the time you guys see this video we will know it would have just started yeah it would just started so at the time of you watching this video we literally are just starting in the hurricane so we'll leave in the comment section like what is going on and what's like happening and let me just say if our our town is not the town to get hit. I'm praying for praying any, for any and every, area. yeah, any and every person in town and, and everything. We're only getting ready because, like I said last time, nobody even thought it was gonna hit us as bad, and it just turned in the past like half day. That's all it took for it to just go from here to go that direction. If this doesn't show, we need to start being prepared before because we were like, oh, it's just a tropical storm, we'll be fine. Mm -hmm not happening <laughs> yeah and we don't fully have hurricane shutters for our house but like we kind of are gonna rig stuff up so it works and hopefully no windows get blown out because last time we got really lucky god i'm just praying so let's go inside look at like there's people like just buying like boards and stuff getting ready to like board up their house but on the list today is propane because we bought a generator and it runs off of gas and propane and there's gas shortages already and i'm sure the propane and is gonna be next to gas. go there's contaminated gas with diesel yeah oh and last time the hurricane happened Happened, it contaminated our water we couldn't even drink water we weren't here for like two weeks luckily we were in chicago people weren't able to drink water for like a month because it broke the water lines the electric was out wi-fi was out for weeks and weeks like people didn't have electric for like months oh i'm praying i'm really freaking praying because this is just not going the way we thought it was gonna go so wish us luck we already have bad news and we've been shopping for like 20 minutes so we went to home depot fully out of propane and we're talking about home depot yeah we went to a gas station nearby fully out of propane we're at Publix now, and I see that there's a sign on the propane tank 
box. And I'm guessing that means that they're all out. I also called my sister because she works at a grocery store. They're all out. They're all out. We're screwed. Yeah, we are screwed. If the power goes out, we have no way to cook food. The only way to cook food is on a grill, and that's what you need propane for. But well, don't you, you have a, a propane at the Airbnb. You should grab I did that. buy one propane thing a couple days ago, thankfully. So we have like one thing. But you have guests checked in, so they're probably gonna. You can't just snatch it. And that I can't away just snatch them. it. Yeah. I because know. The, then they're gonna be you like. You should have gotten that earlier. It's all right. Dang. Well, we're gonna go away and we're gonna shop. We're gonna see what's on the shelves. I, it's really packed here, so I'm just kind of nervous there's gonna be no food. Our goal is to get food that will last like days without being in the fridge. We got cat food, so the cats will be good. And. I actually just placed an order for some the cats. Water. Too. Yeah. Some water. Some water. I don't even maybe. think there's gonna be water. We're go we'll show you guys the water section when we go in there because I really think it's gonna be all out. Everything is like emptying out. And it like might not even hit us, but like that's just the thing. Well, it's People so scary were prepping. You don't know. People were prepping last week. Like there was people uh, when I was doing a shift order. She was literally messaging me, and she was like, "The lines are crazy in Publix right now. Like everyone's preparing for the hurricane oh, and getting their no. water. So I don't think there's gonna be water. And it's about a storm today. This is not even the hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> but the storm is putting us in the feel as if the hurricane was here. All right. Here. Let's just go in and get our. We got We got to get go. in there before yeah. <laughs> anyone else does because it's already late in the day and stuff is selling. All right, you guys. We just made it home. We had no luck with propane paint tank um and the water was pretty much all out. there was water like down the aisle but we were just like eh, we're probably not gonna get any but i am currently unloading we did a good shopping run i feel like we didn't get a whole lot we just got a few dinners and stuff and yeah Woo. it is hot it's like 100 degrees and it's storming i'm tired now i know Ready to cozy up in a blanket, drink some pumpkin spice latte or anything. You that know? sounds so nice, but do I know it's crazy? You haven't even had one yet from Starbucks and yeah. it's been out for like a week. I don't, I don't like pumpkin though, but I'm gonna try it. I feel like I should try it, see what it tastes like. And you don't like pumpkin, but you've been raving about how apparently good these Starbucks like lattes are. Pretty good. I heard, I heard, you know the cookie crumble that I get? Yeah. You get pumpkin spice cookie crumble, and I guess that's really good. Crumble cookie? Oh, cookie crumble. From what? You know the double cho chocolate cookie crumble that you get from Starbucks? Oh. Double uh, chocolate chip. He didn't say it was Starbucks. I, I did. We were that. talking about Starbucks. Don't be a dick. So we bought a bunch of food. A lot of it is like, you know, non-fridge, but we did, like I said earlier, buy a generator. Luckily it's coming in by tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully the Amazon workers are yeah. going to dry. Hopefully the Amazon workers stay out, but most likely they will because the storm's not going to be like terrible tomorrow. It's going to be like more Wednesday morning that you have to like watch out for, but that generator will be powerful enough to run the fridge and some other electrical stuff and then like a mini AC unit. So as of right now, um, we don't really know where the hurricane's fully going. We heard it's going up towards Tampa. Oh my God. This is what's so frustrating. When you're at like a place and of course everyone's pitching in their own two cents. People are like, oh, it's not gonna be that bad or oh, it's gonna be terrible or oh, it's gonna hit Naples. Oh no, it's gonna hit Tampa. Nobody knows anything. Everyone's just like freaks out and yeah. goes and buys it's a bunch of stuff. No, it's just like- You should be prepared. No, you should be prepared, but like everyone just thinks they know exactly what's going on. And me and Mariah are over here like, we don't know what's gonna happen. We're just gonna try to prepare for the worst case scenario. But note to self, next year we have to get like after this hurricane, we have to get one of them built-in generators so when your house power wow. goes off there's a generator outside that automatically kicks on and powers the entire house so it's like there's nothing even good the whole neighborhood town could be out of power I'm and hoping, our house wouldn't i'm hoping that by next year hurricane season we're in our new home yeah so we'll have hurricane windows probably and we can get the generator fixed up and all yeah. that good stuff all so. hooked up and stuff yeah. but we're, we're dealing with what we got this yeah. year we'll be fine we got you know your sister's house to stay at where's yeah. case near they got a generator we bring our kitties in we pack up and we go. Yeah. You guys want to go with or do you want to stay here alone? Oh no. This is going to be Scar's first hurricane, Marvel Squad. I know. It will be. Scar, you're about to experience your first ever hurricane. Even if it doesn't hit as hard, we're going to keep you guys safe. All three of y'all. <laughs> oh, by the way, these bats are new. We didn't show them that yet. Oh, yeah, we didn't show them any of this yet. No, all these bats we set up. Look at this. We didn't show any of this yet. I guess we just showed them a little sneak peek in this video. Yeah. Basically, this is the whole setup. It's almost September 1st, guys. Give us a break. Like, Halloween's yeah, almost here. Decorating. Fall's almost here. Yeah. If you're not decorating already, you're not thinking about it. Like, come on. You don't really love the season. Oh, what a day. 
please guys ignore my face wait last. can you take it yeah mariah went to get a facial and like her face is beat no, red right now facial i got a micro needling and a chemical peel mariah was walking through the garage door and it was downpouring like the hurricane's not here yet that was just like a pre-storm right yeah downpouring. Mariah's running inside. I hear the garage open, but my ring camera didn't go off because the power went out for a second. So Mariah is starting to open the door and I get to the door at the same time and I like pull open the door, not to scare her, just to say Guys, like, hi. There was a biggest lightning, the loudest thing ever. At the exact second that I whip open the door, the lightning crack sounded like a bull whip, just whoop. Like the it biggest is. whip you would ever keep. And it scared oh, Mariah so yelled bad. so no. loud. No, the reason I was opening the door at the same time because I was running because it scared me. The, the thunder scared me. So that's why I was running inside. And then you were right there and it scared It was me so loud because it was downpouring oh. and the, the rain and everything. It was like scary. Oh. And Mariah was running inside and just well, boom. I saw a car looking sus and I was scared like they were going to like do something. So I like ran inside really quick. You didn't tell me that. Well, I'm telling you now. So. <laughs> okay. But I think we did a great job preparing. We also bought portable chargers today. Tomorrow, I think we're gonna go get some wood to board up some of our windows. Literally, it's gonna be like pitch black in here. Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> all the windows are gonna be boarded up. And we're not boarding up that, are we? No, we can't. I wanna be able to look outside. Yeah, we have to get like different stuff for this um, down the road. But I think we are as prepared as we can be. We have water, mm -hmm. we have food now, we have chargers. All of our um, devices are charging right now and like we're getting ready. And we might not have internet for a while. I don't, don't know. Don't say that. Last time we didn't. Okay, we well don't say that. It, right now, as of right now, I looked again like a couple minutes ago and it's still going towards Tampa, which I'm praying for everyone up there. I'm praying there. for everyone up there. I even um, texted Anna and Anthony. You did? Yeah. I need to text them too. I am just praying it doesn't hit where we are only because we got hit so bad. People's houses are still not even like Dude, fully done. Houses like, are still for sale that are completely destroyed from a year ago and nobody wants to buy them because they're absolutely just demolished. So people are just like losing their homes. And anyway, like I just hope no matter where it does hit because it's it's gonna hit somewhere in Florida yep. that everyone is okay I know it's gonna go up to like Georgia and everything too so like everyone everywhere like I hope you all stay, stay safe. safe and if you are thinking it's gonna be bad just evacuate don't even like try to stay because mm -hmm. a lot of people stayed last year and didn't end up doing good yeah so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video just a little vlog day in our life of what is crazily going on yeah, that we have to deal with here I want to give you guys a life update that's the one downfall of living um, out in Florida is especially when you're not prepared yeah if we had a generator that ran our house, if we had hurricane proof windows well, and everything, I would be just like, oh, this sucks, but at least we're prepared. Well, everyone was telling us to get one last year, but everyone's like, oh, we're not gonna get hit with another hurricane. Like, Yeah, we, but we should have. After yeah. last year, we should have. So now let's make a pact. It's gonna cost a little bit of money, but let's buy the stuff, get prepared, and you know. Let's just get ready for get ready for the, for the next disaster. I am just excited that by the time our wedding comes, hurricane season will be over, so we do not got to worry about. Imagine a hurricane Dude. coming and we have our wedding. That oh, I would like it, it would just be such bad timing, you know. And obviously, our wedding is not more important than anybody else, yeah, or yeah. anybody's you know situation when it comes to the hurricane. But, but just like adding on top of all the chaos, imagine like having to redo our whole wedding and stuff. Yeah, that'd be. Horrible. We're just praying for everyone out there. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are in the area that's like might get hit, like, you know, we're praying for you guys. Um, keep safe. us updated in the comments of how everything's going. And we'll also keep you updated with what's going on here. Mm -hmm. So we will see you guys in the next video. But until then, peace. Love, Love you guys. You guys.